Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Amber and this is About That Mama Life. On my channel, we do beauty and skincare videos, recipes, we do mama life content and DIY video, like the one you're gonna see today on these DIY sparkly glitter tongs. So if this content is interesting to you, consider subscribing to this channel and let's get into making our own glitter tongs. Okay, so I've got my black toms. These I have worn in quite a bit. They're just the plain black canvas. Don't mind the dirty soles. We're gonna clean those up as we go. I've got some masking tape, some Mod Podge, some black glitter, a bowl to mix it in with a couple of brushes and like a, a sponge tip. And then a clear acrylic sealer. I got this in the crafts area. All of the stuff I got at Walmart basically. So you can get it at your local Walmart. You don't have to go to a fancy craft store. So make sure you sit down like an old towel. I have um, a cardboard box in front of a table below me here so that I'm not going to make a huge mess or do this outside. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our masking tape and we're going to tape down around the sole of the shoe so that none of the glitter gets on to the actual sole. Okay, so I'm just putting small pieces down at a time and I attempted to kind of rip them in half because they don't have to be very big. And see if I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm just lining it up against the sole, pressing it down, and then pressing it under so, so that you have the actual sole covered. You're gonna do that all the way around on both shoes. Okay, I got the soles taped up. You can also tape over the little tags if you would like to. I'm just gonna be really careful when I paint them. So now it's time to mix up our glitter paint. So I'm just taking this old um, plastic kind of Tupperware type dish and I'm gonna pour in some of the Mod Podge. Start with about this much. I'm gonna take my black glitter and I got more of a coarse glitter because I wanted it to be have more texture. All right, I can already see this. I'm about to pop this top off and it's gonna go everywhere. Oh my God, it's a screw off. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay. We're gonna pour that in. I'm gonna go a little at a time, mix it up to make sure I have the right consistency. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay, you want it to be pretty much the same consistency the Mod Podge was when you poured it into the bowl. You don't want it to be so thick that it like starts to clump. So this is the consistency I have now. And I think that's gonna be perfect. All right, my battery's dying, so I'm gonna switch that out. Okay, we have a charged battery. We're gonna start with a shoe. This is the right shoe. You know what, I'm gonna be smart. I'm about to put a towel underneath me right now. Okay, let's get painting. So we're just going to brush that on and cover the whole shoe. Paint, paint. Painting paint, paint. Go all the way down to the sole, cover every part that has canvas on it. Now this Mod Podge looks white now, but it dries down clear and it's gonna leave just, I mean, essentially it's like glue and it's just gonna leave the glitter 
and we're going to do multiple layers of this. Oh, it just dropped some. Guess where it dropped? On the towel. Winning! Get your paint on, and I will be back after I finish both shoes. Okay, I've done my first coat. This is what they look like. And I'm already starting to see some of the glitter. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. Like It's starting to sparkle through a little bit as the Mod Podge dries, and it is looking good. You can see it on my fingers. That's what it's going to look like. Black sparkly glitterness. So I'm going to set these in front of just a big box fan for about 15 minutes, let them dry, and I will be back to do the second coat with you. All right, so they have dried. Check them out. I'm already starting to see all that shine and that glitter, and I'm loving it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more Mod Podge and glitter to my bowl and do a second coat. Since we've already laid down the first coat and you've got a layer of glitter, for this one we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're just going to kind of stamp it on so that you're going to get that glitter to be a little bit more textured on top of your first layer. And this should help the glitter to stand up a little bit more on top of that first coat and just make it a little more textured and a little bit more chunky and really and really make the glitter a little bit more noticeable. So go ahead and paint on, continue to paint your second coat, just kind of pressing, stamping, um, adding that second coat of glitter and I will check back in with you when mine are all painted. <coughs> Ooh, it is getting intense in here. You might want to do this outside. All right, my second coat is done, and you can see I did a really nice thick coat. I really stamped that on there. Really did a nice thick coat there so that I was really placing that glitter on top of that second coat and adding more glitter and covering those sparse areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit in front of the fan. And about every five minutes, I'm gonna change the direction of the shoe so that it really gets to dry. And I'll probably end up leaving it about 20 minutes to dry this time, just so everything really gets to set in there. And then we'll be back to do our third and final coat. See you guys in a minute. So these have been drying for quite some time because I put quite the heavy load of Mod Podge and glitter on them. But you can start to see that they are very glittery. And we're gonna do the third and final coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole rest of the shoe by just kind of stamping on that really extra heavy amount of glitter. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna sprinkle some glitter on top of it so that it is just really extra glittery and it has a nice good texture uh, look to it. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back to show you what it looks like when we're ready to apply the glitter. Okay, so now that we have our coat fully on there and we've stamped lots of texture onto the shoe. We're going to take some glitter, we're going to sprinkle it over the top, and then we're going to use kind of a dry paintbrush to just tap it in and make sure it sticks. I'm going to zoom in on this cardboard box I have in front of me and show you how I do that and try to keep the mess at a minimum. So let's get glittery. So we finished our last coat 
and we applied some glitter on top of that. Now we're going to be patient and let these dry overnight. Once they're done, we're gonna come back, we're gonna seal it, and then we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna have beautiful sparkly shoes. So, let these dry overnight, get a good night's rest, and I will see you in the morning. Okay, so it is the next day. That was quick, right? <laughs> So here are the shoes. I am so excited. They are glittery, glam, and amazing. So next step is we're going to use this clear acrylic sealer. And the directions say to go out in a well-ventilated area, so I'm not going to try to do that in here. I'm going to take it outside. We're going to spray them down. I'll bring you with me. So let's go outside. Okay, so we are outside, and I have this... Um, I have this cardboard box down on top of a chair and we're about to get spraying. So it says short sprays hold the can about 10 to 12 inches. All right, one shoe down, next shoe. All right, we're gonna let that dry for 10 to 15 minutes. In about 15 minutes and feels dry to the touch, so we are gonna do our second coat. We're gonna wait about 10 or 15 more minutes and then they should be good to go. Okay, did two layers of the spray sealant and they are dry-ish. They still smell pretty potent, but I think it's about time that I, mean, I could touch them. They're not like soaking wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. So we're just gonna peel it off. It's our last and final step. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Here's the first glittery Tom. Now it still is a little stiff and thick with all the glue and the sealant and everything, so I think I will go ahead and put them under the put them under the fan for another night and just let them really, really dry out. But I am just loving, and I will give you a close up of me wearing them in the sunlight, so you can actually see all the glitter and the sparkle because they are just gorgeous. And if you do this with a different color, like red or gold, oh, gold would be so cool. Anything that's really like bright, I think it would look just gorgeous. Just okay. And here they are. Here's the finished product my black with black glitter toms. And I said I didn't have my ring light on. So. Here we go, <laughs> light adjustment. So here they are in all of their glory. You'll be able to see a little bit more of the shine and the shimmer now that I have the ring light on, but I am just obsessed with them. They are so cute. I love that they are DIY, they're customizable. You can really make these the way that you want them and I'm in love with them. So I will insert a clip here of them in the daylight. So that's it. What do you guys think? Definitely leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you're going to try this out, if you have done it, how it came out. Make sure you tag me on social media at About That Mama Life, and I want to see your projects. 
Um, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps support the work that I put into making these videos and it helps me out a lot. I really appreciate you guys watching. Check out one of my other DIY videos here and click this button to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye.